You know, if you ask them, what do leaders have in common? Probably the one thing that'll come out the most is that they are curious. Leaders are curious. They want to learn, they continuously learn, and they realize that they never reach their potential. A great, great leader will say, I don't reach my potential. I've heard of Yali from the media and also from the American Embassy. I was inspired by the thought of 500 African, young African leaders getting together to share their experience, their challenges, what they're going through, but also their hope for the continent. I wanted to be part of it. I went online and found my um, in the application and I did apply. I was so excited, but I was not so sure if I can be able to be among of the Mandela Washington Fellow. And the third step, then, you create a vision. You have to have uh, a, a vision of what you want to do, and within this, you, you continue to the, the fourth stage where it is communicating the vision. I think I was in a position to, to articulate what I wanted to do for the society. I, I have the passion for change, and I believe I'm the change I want to see. Imagine a class of 500 young Africans together. Who would you want to be there? Imagine the connection, the, the ideas, the passion, the zeal. Knowing that you're not alone, actually you're not crazy doing what you do. So I wanted to learn, I wanted to understand Africa. Actually, I gave myself a very minimal chance to, to, to pass that interview but also I thought maybe people with they will think of my disabilities and so they will not select me. Uh, the experience at the workshop has been uh, very insightful and informative. It's been a good good experience so far it kind of like captures some of the elements that we spent time in the US trying to try to figure out but this has you know come come with more uh, more structured approach and templates of how to, to actually you know, get to the hard skills and the nitty gritty of, of setting up projects. We met with leaders from different countries in Africa. We shared our experiences. One of the things that I remember when President Barack Obama was sharing with us, he said, the change is, is in our hands. But also, I have a lot of confidence now. Nobody can discourage me. I got to see what people with disabilities, especially the mentally challenged individuals, can do. They were even able to run a catering services. We had an opportunity to meet with various business people. We had an opportunity to go to visit their businesses. So we learned different business models. The most critical things I learned from the trip is we need to learn how to create proper strategies which will enable the business to last forever, for a long time, to, from generations to generations. One thing I've learned after my program, after I've taken part and I've seen how things are done in America, I'm realizing that you don't have to have money to actually do. When I look around, there are so many resources that I do have. I started a law firm called Liberty Attorneys uh, with my fellow youth colleagues. Actually, as far as to bring the change and empower other youth fellows, we need to, to not charge the large amount that they fear in other bigger law firms in the country. So as far as we are also starting small and we are trying to bring the change that we want to see. So we at times offer the legal services pro bono. When I came back, I thought I was more energized to make what I've always dreamed of where we're trying to get contained kids in school so that they, 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 are, they are not hungry. They don't have a reason to run away from school. So for me, I want to use media. I want to cause this huge media campaign that is actually youth driven to make young people wake up and participate. And how they participate? By encouraging them to register, by encouraging them to vote, but also encouraging young people to contest for different political parties. The young people should get in leadership this year. I'm concentrating now on at least 
talking to uh, people with disabilities to encourage them that being a, a person with disabilities is not the end. With Yali Mandela uh, Washington Fellowship, I am more determined, I'm more persistent, I am more focused. I'm now using strategy actually. So I'm a, I'm a quite a, a passionate person even before going to the program. But now that I'm back here, I, there's no stopping me now.